love. You can do it. Has ever words like this became a reason in our life to do something that we were struggling to do? Or have we ever seen an impact of a small action of encouraging someone in that person's life? Stay on with me today as we talk about a Bible character whose name itself meant a son of encouragement in our Bible banter today. The Bible character that we are going to talk about today is of Joseph. Now Joseph was the real name of Barnabas. Now Barnabas was given the name Barnabas based on his works. Now this name was given to him by apostles in the early church. Barnabas, when introduced to us in book of Acts in chapter 4, we see that a very first mention of this character talks about his actions. Now Acts chapter 4 mentions that he sold his field and brought that money in the church so that it can be used for those in need and that was the practice in early church. They shared whatever they had. But then after this mention, we do not see Barnabas for uh, next few chapters. But in between, we see in book of Acts that Saul, who is later known as Paul, was on his way to uh, persecute those who believe or follow Christ. But then on his way, he is met by God and he chose to decide it and he chose to give his life to God. But then this transformation of Paul was something which was difficult for church to accept because he, was, he had a very, very bad reputation. And in, in chapter 9, when we see Paul uh, trying to get back or Paul trying to be a part of the body of Christ, Barnabas stepped out to give him much needed fellowship and accepted him as his fellow uh, believer in Christ. Now, for us, it might look a very easy decision to make. But my dear friends, let me tell you, this was a very difficult decision for them. As, as we mentioned that Paul had a very bad reputation. So if Paul's intentions were not the real ones, then Barnabas would have lost his life. But I think that's where we see the character of Barnabas, that he chose to take the risk because he saw a need there and he went and did what was needed. Now this was the beginning of the work that Paul and Barnabas would do together. Now, Church of Jerusalem asked Barnabas to go to Church of Antioch to see the church that was coming up there. When he went there, he saw people really growing in the Lord and he encourages them. Now, the word used there in the Bible is literally encourages them. So, so he is known for his encouraging acts and his encouraging words. So the, word, the Bible says that, that he went there and encouraged people to continue to grow in the Lord and to hold on to what they have learned. But they, even when he was in Antioch continuing continue to serve the Lord, he was reminded of Paul. So Bible tells us in chapter 9 that he went to Tarsus, looked for Paul, brought him back with himself, and they together in Antioch serve Lord together. Moving further in chapter 11, we see that Paul and Barnabas were sent by church for a missionary journey. And in their journey, they were accompanied by John Mark. But then as they move, as they went for their missionary journey, John Mark decided to drop off and Paul and Barnabas continued their journey. So they went ahead, finished the journey, came back, gave the report to church and, and praised God for what God has achieved, had achieved for them. And after some time, Paul decided or Paul proposed, let's go for another journey. So Paul and Barnabas, as they were planning for the journey, again, John Mark wanted to accompany them and go with them for the journey. But then this time, Paul thought it's not really a good idea to take him because he did not finish his journey last time. He might again drop off in between. But Barnabas was of a different opinion. So he chose to be with John Mark and help him. And then Paul decided to take Silas with him for his journey. My dear friends, this is the last mention of Barnabas in Book of Acts. We see his mention in uh, other epistles written by Paul. But my friends, my dear friends, 
I would like to really encourage you from this character of the Bible, whose work, whose mention in the Bible, every time this character is mentioned, he was encouraging someone. He was building someone's life, who was helping someone to move on in the spiritual life, to grow stronger in the spiritual life in the Lord. My dear friends, Barnabas was someone who jumped in where he was needed. He didn't hold back his money. He didn't hold back his time. He didn't hold back his life. As we said, going and giving a friendship to Paul might have been a risky decision in his life, but he went out. He sold his free, but he was always there when he was needed. And he did what was needed. He went on to encourage. He encouraged Paul. He encouraged John Mark. And just for your information, John Mark is the one who wrote Gospel of Mark. My dear friends, as I said in the beginning, a small action of encouragement can have a big impact in someone's life. Who are we encouraging today? How are we encouraging people today? Let's ask God to show us to be an encouraging, an encourager. Sorry for that, see? To be an encourager. To be a support in someone's life. So that they can go on to serve. As always, we asked you two questions in our video last week. The first question was, what are the names of three friends of Job? And the names are really difficult, so I'm trying to read it slowly. They are Eliphaz, Bildad, and Sofer. And these are the three friends whom we see in the book of Job, who sat along with him and spoke about uh, different perspectives that they see uh, as a result of Job's suffering. Second question was, when did the practice or what is a burnt offering and when did the practice of burnt offering begin? Now, offering in, in a whole is, is something that involves burning. But then burnt offering specifically is something where what is being offered in, in terms of burnt offering, it was generally an animal that has to burn completely and that burnt offering uh, was to renew a relationship between God and a sinful man. So that's the burnt offering. That's, that's why the burnt offering was uh, offered to God. The first official record of burnt offering in Bible is seen in the story of Noah. After the great floods when, when they again came out of the ark, Noah went on to offer burnt offering. Lord, and that's the first recorded burnt offering in the Bible. The questions for this week are How many missionary journeys did Paul make? And how did the church in Antioch begin? So, how many missionary journeys did Paul make? And the second question is How many journeys did Paul make? Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If this video has been a source of encouragement to you, please pass on this video to your friends so that they can also be encouraged and blessed by God's word. If you have any specific feedbacks or comments, please do uh, leave your comments in the comment section or do write to us. We have a link in the description below. Just click on that link and drop in your messages to us. We would be happy to receive your feedbacks. Please do like and subscribe our channel, like our videos, so that we would continue to serve God through this video. Have a blessed week and continue to encourage.